previously on Kung Fu Maintenance, I had an unwelcome visitor. There's times in life where you need to strike first. Sometimes you have to put down the problems before they put you down or loved ones down. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Okay, we're good then. It's a conduit, something left up here. Alright. Hot in the sun. My bucket seat is very warm. This one is probably a few years old. Got a disconnect fold, no hard start kit. I will be adding one for sure. Um, my theory is it takes a lot of stress off the capacitor especially. I mean it takes it off the compressor as well but I actually think that it takes a lot of load off the capacitor. There we go. This should be a 40 slash 5. We'll test it out. Disconnected our start wires. setting. We've got calm in the fan. 4.93, that's good. Common to what should be the 40. The Herm, 38.18. It's actually good. It's, it's a little bit, uh, you know, getting towards the, the uh, weaker side. I don't know. I'm going to I'm actually going to change this one and save this as an emergency backup one. I can write on the capacitor what it tested at and just save it. I wanted to change it to a Titan Pro. Only because I'm getting to my last units, this particular roof requires an extension ladder to get up on. And I pretty much have the rest of them all changed out. So I'm just trying to prevent the callbacks. I can eliminate a roof. Life will be a little easier for me. As I'm winding down towards my last view of my roofs. I just removed the QWERTY. There's the 40 slash 5. Probably going to need to move this over. I'll go ahead and grab my deal and a hard start kit. There's a 40 slash 5. I'm going to modify this wheel. There we go. And it's labeled Perm Common Fan. Go ahead and tighten down the screw. That'll fix it up more precisely how I want it. There we go. So the commons in the center, fans on the left. Arm on the right. And then a hard start kit, one leaves going to go to common, and one leaves to home. Oh my gosh, the camera's hot. Goodness gracious, burning my finger. Okay. And here's the common for the herm, and then the
There we go. And now we've got a nice place to hang our hard start kit. Yeah. That's exactly how I like to modify these straps. Some people probably won't like that. I like it a whole lot. All right. So now we'll plug in our disconnect and we'll test it. Uh, I just realized I forgot to plug in my disconnect on the other unit because I was going to check the fan baffle. So I'll do this, check this. Nice, beautiful sand. Then I'll go fix that one. All right. Well, I'll put my lid on first. My cover. That's good. Nice and cold. Next year, I'll probably just change out the rest of my rest of the Succo units to the Titan Pros. This year, I can only do some of them, so I will probably wish that I had done them all. But that's okay. It made things way better. It's gonna lessen the stress on the capacitors, on the circuits, on the fan motors, on the compressors, on the circuit breakers, on all the wiring, on the contactors, everything all around. I'm testing these capacitors and this is going to be a much better year. All right, so I'm going to get that other unit I was telling you about. And then I've got this one that's running. This one, we're going to check the fan baffles. Good. It's good. It's good. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna plug the unit in. Kind of got ahead of myself. This is the one where I had thought about it over there about the disconnect, how we had fixed the, the metal panel. Whoa, this thing is blazing hot. Whew. going the right way. It's running good. We got a little flash of cool. Okay. And deal. Yeah. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs.